we, we do sense them from time to time. Uh, smell. Smell's a big one. Uh, you can smell the old lady some days. And uh, the man, he, he smoked. He was a heavy, heavy smoker. Because the house was full of nicotine when we moved in. And uh, you, you can smell that around the house from time to time as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does this uh, have some uh, implication on your... smaller than the trolls. Mm. They okay. uh, they've got the pity folk like that. I think they were the original inhabitants of Shetland, but uh, when the Vikings came here... Uh, what do you call them? Trow. Trow? Trow. 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 Uh, when the Vikings came here, I think they got rid of most of them. Yeah, they went underground. Yeah, that, that's the whole thing. Yeah. They're seen as living underground, living in the peat hills and that. And they're great fiddlers and they attract people into their caves and yeah, like the fairy for, for, yeah, for a night's party and when they come out it's a hundred mm. years later. That's, it's very similar to the fairy, the fairy folk. folk tradition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We also in fact, them yeah, in yeah, Norway, I'm, sure, yeah. I'm sure you have <laughs> very similar ones in Norway. Yeah. In what way does the landscape uh, in Shetland inspire you to, to write poetry? I, I was walking uh, today out uh, on some cliffs down by Side. And uh, I, uh, just uh, viewing over the, the white uh, lighthouse on the other side, and, and I was sort of, uh, suddenly reminded of my uh, old place uh, back in Norway. It's, it's kind of a similar, in some ways, landscape. I don't know if, the, if it's my memory is sort of mythology yeah. connected to these things that uh, escaped my mind in some way, but, but this is a particular kind of landscape. I, 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 I find uh, the openness of the landscape because mm -hmm. we don't have any trees here. Mm -hmm. It opens up everything. It opens yes. up the land, it opens up the sky, it opens yeah. up the sea. And the, the, the sea is coming in and the, all the horizons, mm -hmm. the, the endlessness yeah. of things. And the, yeah, that, that's very the, much what I'm talking about. The, yeah. you, you feel quite insignificant mm -hmm. compared, yes, yes. compared yeah. with this nature. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the kind of uh, battling landscape, you know, yeah. the, the, the hills uh, crawling, uh, wanting to, to go further, but you, yeah. the wind is coming yeah. in and stopping. Yeah, it's got that it's beaten uh, down feeling yes, about it. Yes, the beaten down <laughs> feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sort of uh, yeah, that, that's str why struggling. That's why so many to, of us to, are short as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beaten down by other, the weather. Other people, <laughs> <laughs> other people in the same way. Uh, that's the next question. So yeah. Other people in the same way. Yeah, that, uh, think yeah, struggling uh, with the weather and yeah. with, with the harshness of... of You've the seen the Shetland horses as well. They've, mm. yes. uh, they're well and truly beaten down yeah. by the weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're very tough. Yes, they're very tough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very stubborn as well. Uh -huh. you know, I, I think it inspires... A, this landscape kind of inspires a stubbornness mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I would think so, I would think so, yes. Yeah. Perseverance. Yeah. Well, Perhaps. yeah, well, whichever way you look at, yeah. want to look at it, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never say die. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I was uh, telling you on the way over here about uh, uh, yesterday experience when I came to Sh uh, Shetland. The sound that went quiet. There are some sound missing from this landscape. Some sort of um, I'm not sure what it is, but it feels uh, like something is not there. Yeah, you've kind of inspired me now by telling me that because I'm going I'm going to go and search for that it sound is that's very missing. Clear for me. There's, there are some. It's a very quiet sound. Mm. Yeah. Because I wasn't aware of that, and but that's, that's because mm. I've lived here all my life, probably. But I'm going to go and look for that sound that's missing. It has something to do about the landscape and the sea and everything, I think. That was very clear for me yesterday. Mm. But it maybe so maybe be the sound, sound of the wind in the trees, possibly. Maybe it's the trees. Maybe, yes. The 
lack of trees. Maybe. Yeah, well, yeah, well, just that sound of the wind or, blowing through the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Or because the land is so small mm -hmm. and uh, a sound from far away is not there, maybe. I'm not sure. That's quite possible, yeah. Yeah. Also, you go yeah. to other places and when it's quiet, there's still the humming of like electrical things. Here, there's maybe the sea and boats and that kind of sound. But those other sounds you don't hear as much. Like I used to live where there was a lot of sirens, a lot. Oh, yeah. And oh, it, yeah. it came to the point that that soothed me. Yeah. And when I went somewhere where there was no sounds like that, it felt strange. Mm. That, 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 it's funny you should say that because I find the wind is the same. Mm. Uh, uh, your wind's blowing really hard in the middle of the winter time and you're sitting inside or lying in bed and you hear the wind whistling in and everything. It, I, I find that almost comfort, comforting now. Why is that, do you think, the, the, the landscape has this kind of implication on us you know, human beings? Where we are set in a certain place in the world does something to us. I remember when we had a, a master degree in the historical Jesus, the people talking about, the scientists talking about him being set in this particular landscape, landscape in Nazareth in Galilee, that did something to him in the way. So we are yeah, affected well. by how we live in the middle of uh, this. Uh, fellow guests told us about the noisiness of Aberdeen or the cars. Yeah, well, I think yeah, I think this landscape maybe does quieten us down because because we're not loud people. We're, we're, mm -hmm. we're quite quietly spoken. Yes. yes. Uh, I found m most Shetlanders are good listeners as well, and that yeah, that, that, yeah. that could be just to do with the place yeah. because you're because uh, you're set in a, somewhere that maybe just changed that much mm. over the centuries. Uh, Admittedly, the last 40, 50 years, it's changed a lot. But uh, before that, there wasn't maybe much difference from one century mm. to the next. But, uh, this, this idea of the time uh, uh, that you, uh, you live in New York, that you, it's a very uh, on beat. Uh, and uh, perhaps in Shetland, the, the horizon and the quietness uh, gives you more perspective on things. Uh, yeah, quite possibly, but I feel that one kind of goes in the opposite direction as well, mm -hmm. because because you live in such a harsh environment, you do have to strive to actually yeah, yeah. just survive. Yeah. As I say, the last 50 years is different, mm. but before that, you just had to, you had to strive and you had to work hard just to survive. Yeah. <coughs> yes. you so, uh, I was going to ask about you... Um, you used to work on ships, didn't you? Um, do you think that's part of your writing in any way? Or? Almost definitely, because I was telling telling you that uh, I'm out of generations and generations mm. of fishermen and seamen, mm. and I was I'm actually the first generation <coughs> who didn't go to sea. Mm. Sometimes I almost feel as if I maybe missed something, but maybe not. I I, I genuinely believe now it wasn't meant to be. Mm. Right. But I worked for many years uh, on boats, mm. and I, I still have this affiliation with a boat, the ship, shape of ship, everything, because of that. And because I maybe w didn't quite go the full distance out to sea, at, l at least it kept me involved Contact. in that in that kind of those industries. Mm. But I I I moved on from there. I, I don't do that now. Although I still work in engineering industries, but it's more fish farming and uh, oil and gas industry mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. But I do miss the boats, I must admit. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you, you said something about the light uh, here in Shetland. That it was uh, some sort of harshness to the light. Yeah, I think it's very, the light here is very deep. 
defined, uh, shadows are very defined here mm. <coughs> when the sun is out and that and, and the fact because of our northern disposition that the sun being low mm. probably about eight months of the year to the south it, it causes that light and shadow effect and uh, the, the brightness here even compared to the Orkney Islands, which are just 90 miles to the south, it seems a much kind of brighter, maybe harsher is the wrong word, but it's a much brighter light. Sharper. Sharper light. Because I, I found even Orkney, uh, it's a lovely light in Orkney as well, but it's much softer. Do you have the same relationships to light and darkness in Norway? Yeah, I think we have. Mm. Uh, because there are big differences in da uh, light than uh, dark also in Norway, especially in the north, but also on the west coast. Mm -hmm. um, even in Oslo, where I'm living, uh, we have a clear winter, mm -hmm. uh, it's early dark, and dark for a long period, and then in the summertime there's a lot of light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've noticed in places like that where there's, where there's those disparities, it kind of influences the art that people make, like the music, and that kind of stuff, like when I listen to like the dance music that's popular in Norway, yeah. it's like much harder. Like I don't know why that is, but it's really interesting to me that it might have something to do with what you're experiencing and what your body gets used to. I think so. Yeah. It was like the drumming last night. The drummer last night. Yeah, yeah. It was class. a really like that was a really military yeah. beat yeah. almost. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like punk, mm. clearly. Yeah. 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 It was really interesting set against what the other instruments were doing. <laughs> it was, yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know about Shetland because I've not been there so long, but in Norway the sky is very blue. It's a very blue sky. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. It's, it's the same here, yeah. It's a bright blue, a bright clear light. blue sky. Well, it's that bright light I was talking yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, I've, se I've seen that in Norway as well, because I've spent a bit of time on the west coast of Norway and it feels similar in so many ways to here. Inland in Norway is completely different, but on the west coast it, it's there, there's a great deal of similarities. A great deal of similarities in the way that people look at life as well. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. We have trees, but... Uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> we met some uh, Norwegians at uh, breakfast today, um, and they uh, said that back in the uh, further south, that in Scotland, mm. people were speaking very loud, much louder than when we, what we do in Norway, mm. Mm. and maybe also here in Shetland, if you are speaking um, on a lower. Lord, yeah, yeah. So, softer song. Yeah. Yeah. They were yeah. complaining because the yeah. grown-ups were yelling, <laughs> <laughs> shouting. I, I, I found I found that because I, I worked with uh, a few guys who worked in Gla worked in Glasgow and all the rest of it, and I just found they shout at the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to get used to it. It's just the way they talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Ireland, you have that. Parts of Donegal, and when you go from Derry to Northern Ireland, and it's just a stone's throw. The light, you just know by the light. Yeah. Right. And the people, you speak really quietly. And there, on the other hand, I'm from Dublin, and a friend of ours from Glasgow, and they met in Belfast, and both of them, real Glaswegians, and Frank went into his old ways of speaking Glaswegian. And I couldn't understand a word they were saying, no. but I actually knew no, by their, 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 their expressions and so yeah. on. Mm. I knew exactly what they were saying, <laughs> you know, because it was just like two, two Dublin people, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no you know, whereas a, a person from Donegal or the islands off Donegal will be similar in, in attitude and life, you know, it's a slower. Slower, less, less aggressive. Perhaps it has some, uh, some social components in the way uh, we often talk about uh, uh, this 
is a kind of a urban uh, phenomenon. Uh, right. People from Oslo are more uh, oh, okay. speaking higher. <laughs> Stereotypically speaking, <laughs> right, right. some some elements of truth, perhaps in a, in a tone, voice, and a social echo, uh, a different uh, ways oh, yeah. of uh, on a different tone and frequency, perhaps. Yeah. But, uh, maybe in the uh, urban s- uh, scenario, it's maybe just people have to talk louder and faster just to be heard. Yeah. I really love to have to wait for what somebody's going to say next in a conversation. I really appreciate that when I meet somebody who just takes their time. <laughs> it's really nice to kind of formulate what they want to say. Uh, yeah, It's true, I don't feel you get that in urban spaces as much. You might get it in pockets, but especially around like business districts and all that kind of stuff. The conversation is very like action-based, I yes. suppose. Yeah. yeah, it's always quite interesting sitting and talking to someone like that. You can watch them for, forming their thoughts and their eyes almost before they, yeah. mm. before they say anything. Yeah. I have a friend who she'll be very silent for a little while before saying almost everything. So <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you don't know her really well, you think that she doesn't like you or something. But yeah, just have to get used to yeah. get used to it and slow down everything. Mm-hmm. And once you do that, it's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No rush. <laughs> no rush. Yeah. It's. Uh, I know certainly places like Iceland and uh, Faroe and Greenland and all that, writing is a very big thing, writing and reading and that. Is it the same maybe in Norway? As Not as much as Iceland. Yeah. Uh, they write more than us, I think, and read more also. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think we are that far behind. No, no. But Iceland is, is better. Yeah, they are special. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've noticed that, yeah. yeah. They are a small community and uh, maybe closer together, I'm not sure. And then they have the sagas, of course, mm-hmm. uh, and the tradition for writing, so... Um, they don't have any else, they don't have any uh, weavings and uh, things, they have the, the written material. And they, the, I heard on the radio that uh, uh, in Iceland, uh, you don't, if, if you had some kind of a little ID, but something you want to write about, then you, you call yourself a writer. They, they don't, uh, in no way, you, uh, perhaps you would be careful to say, that. I'm planning to write a book, but <laughs> I think you have three lines in a, in a notebook, yeah. I'm a writer. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this, yeah, heard this on the radio, on the P2. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I, th- I think Shetlanders have that same thing. Uh, in many ways, though, you're never quite sure if you're a writer or not. You're always that s- scared that yeah. you might never write anything again, mm-hmm. so you're always terrified to call yourself a writer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's uh, also uh, yeah. challenging in Norway. Yeah. Self, self, the confidence. Yeah, mm-hmm. self confidence. Lack of, yeah. lack of. <laughs> That's no, no yeah. use. And then they also have the law of Jante. Yeah. 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 The law of Jante is. Uh, Don't believe you are something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Commitments. That you should not think you are better than other people. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I don't see there's anything wrong with that. But <laughs> you, you, should, you, you should think at least you're as good as everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's yeah. Nice. And they're as good yeah. as you. Yeah. <laughs> don't hold yourself down. Yeah. Each individual should just realise how amazing and beautiful they are and then realise everyone else is the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's it. Yeah. Good. Right. Yeah. 
was um, a game that uh, one of our colleagues, uh, colleagues of uh, Kyle and I, used to work on this project uh, called Just Doesn't Anymore. Her name was Vani Plot, her name still is Vani Campbell now. Uh, she's a poet from Trinidad and she introduced me, well, she introduced me to a game, kind of a game, uh, which was more of a challenge actually. Um, I want to interrupt your conversation to sow this seed of an idea uh, of coming up with a three words that fit, might fit into a poem about place. And my challenge to everybody here is to come up with three words. Uh, but I'm not going to ask you to do it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> three words. Three words. <laughs> Describe uh, a place. place. In English. <laughs> Sorry? In the place or in Any place. So in a place. poem that you might write. I don't Read. know that it has to be English. It doesn't have to be English. Okay. It can be Norwegian. Three, one, three Norwegian words, but if you could maybe do a translation. Do us a favour and tell them what the <laughs> translation is. <laughs> 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 or at least spell the word out for us so I can Google it. Um, but uh, yeah, I've interrupted you. Your oh, conversation yeah. to, to sure. plan that seed of challenge. No, everyone is thinking about this three words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, come it's so uh, difficult to think about three words. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have one, one yeah. I think. You have one? I have one. All right. It's uh, the word uh, un unchangeable. But landscapes are s staying the same way and s s uh, they change very slow. Hmm. So when, uh, through a lifetime, you can look upon, uh, upon the sam same landscape. It would still be like it looked when you were a child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So unchangeable is that one word or? Yeah, that's one word. Okay. Good stuff. Unchanged. Ah. Uh, I don't think when I, when I look uh, out the window of, of um, uh, the cottage, I'm staying. Mm. Landscape. The landscape is unchangeable. Yeah. It's always been there, like that. The tree the is going off. Yeah. Unchangeable or unchanging? Unchanging and both, I think. Okay. Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Yeah. You're cheating, you've got two words. What about one more? One more. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Det er så stor himmel, altså sånn der åpne himmelhølsen, fra Dysk og Norge. It's here, you see, when the, the sky is, um, takes open. all, it's open. Eternal, yeah, eternal yeah. all, ah, okay. in some way. Yeah. I don't think we have a word for that. Just one word, anyway, in English. Yeah. I think it's so big, there shouldn't be a word for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big. <laughs> Open sky. Open sky. Open sky. driving around for a grand total of about six hours or something over the last few days. Mm. And uh, it's like every every time you sort of go over a hill or turn a corner, there's a wonderful surprise. It could be a, an A or a yeah. mountain or mist or a shark or seals. Or <laughs> I still feel that. Birds. <laughs> yeah. There's the bomb. Reassuring, reassuring. Uh, is that the 
understandable English word. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I like today, it, I when, uh, when I uh, went to this, this uh, cob or this peak, I, I was in a way becalmed, uh, reassured that something stays the same. Also, uh, I recognize something from my home place. Mm-hmm. And something uh, reassured me that, that uh, there's, a, there's a connection in the world, in a way. Something that holds the world together. This, this reassured me that uh, okay, there's some order with the system. Yeah. Yeah. That was one. Hmm. <laughs> I would say light, because the unchanging can be changed by the light. Because the contours stay the same, but the light can. Mm-hmm. Right, right, the face of your own changing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Changing. <laughs> <laughs> throw me over the beer yeah. It's still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. it's essential there. It's yeah. still there, but light can give you a different aspect. Isn't it? I would probably say texture. Just because. I don't know, just because the contact of people with the landscape changes its texture but also there are so many different textures if you look like I've been noticing the stone and the sand and stuff that's been weathered by being next to the next to the water and that kind of stuff but also texture can mean different people and cultures rubbing up against each other and making something else I would say movement. Movement, because uh, the movement, uh, say the movement of the trees or the grass by the wind, or the movement of the clouds by the wind, or, or the movement of the sea on the shore, or even just just the movement of the sea itself can alter how you kind of look at things as well. Even people. Even people, yeah. Mm. Although there's not that much movement up here, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure living in the city, there's probably, it, it just looks as if it never stops. Mm. Well, I mean, there's, how many of us? Seven here? Six of us have moved, have moved here temporarily for, mm-hmm. for this weekend, at least. I don't yeah. know how long you guys are here, but definitely feels maybe we're disproportionate. The, uh, this group is representative of the, the shadow. How much movement there is in the chat? I would say love because um, I love Shetland. I'm falling in love with the people and uh, the nature and uh, the island. Yeah. Love. love. I think all poems are about love. Mm. In different ways, but mm-hmm. I think all poems are about love. What was the other so one? my word was not uh, a word. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> important word. It's very important.
they, 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 there's not that much of the wind in the water. It's quite shallow water. Uh, yeah, it is believable that. You would think it's pretty good. Yeah, for that. Yeah. If I had one, it's quite. 